Intermittent fasting is one approach that some people living with diabetes use. So what is intermittent fasting? Intermittent fasting is the idea that people contain the number of hours that they eat and have longer periods of time that they're fasting. So for example, for example, a common version of this is called the 16 to 8, meaning that people fast for 16 hours and eat during a period of eight hours. So for example, starting to eat at 11 a.m. and stopping to eat by 7 p.m. There is a lot of active research into this area to understand if intermittent fasting is a really is really effective. What I could say now is that weight loss related to intermittent fasting is actually pretty similar to using just a balanced eating plan. Uh, some folks in research studies have identified that there can be benefits to insulin resistance and other markers of metabolic health. It can be hard to sustain this approach to eating over time, though. So what I'd say is if you are interested in approaching or thinking about intermittent fasting, I would definitely discuss it with your doctor, healthcare provider, or a coach or diabetes educator, because there are some, uh, some specific considerations for you as an individual to make sure this is a safe approach. Something I do think that I could safely recommend to everyone, though, is that we should avoid eating continuously. So I think even if you're not doing intermittent fasting, it's okay to set a, a stop time for eating. So for example, after dinner, stop the clock, plan to not eat anymore for the rest of the night and resume eating again the next day. That's not technically intermittent fasting, but I think it's still sometimes a helpful approach for people to really think about a way to prevent uh, snacking or eating at times that they were not planning to eat.